Donna, how does an executive coach help a leader who is over relying on um, a passive approach? Well, I first want to say that if a leader isn't assertive, the bottom line is that they are not as effective as they could be. Mm. And so I hope all the leaders that are listening will really take a look, stand back and see, am I overly aggressive or am I passive? Mm. Um, but I had an example of um, a client who was a CEO of a large company and he was too passive. And it's actually more common than you'd think. I know that there's a lot of aggressive CEOs, but there are passive CEOs out there too. Mm -hmm. And what he didn't do was he didn't fire people. He didn't give performance feedback. Mm -hmm. He didn't um, deal with conflict within the executive team or within the organization. Um, he didn't uh, give... Um, consequences. He didn't hold people accountable. And as you can imagine, that was really detrimental to the company. So, sounds like he was everybody's buddy? Or yeah, I think he wanted to be liked. And I think he just naturally did not like conflict. And so, you know, as we worked deeper with him, we found out why. But the impact on the organization was lack of trust, um, high turnover, especially with high potential employees, um, a lot of um, conflicts, a lot of co protracted conflicts that just kept going and going. Um, people not collaborating, the, the executive team not collaborating to come up with strategy or to um, solve problems or, or um, use conflicts as a way to actually increase creativity in the organization instead of um, stamp it out. A lot of fear, too. Mm, mm, ouch, right, yeah. And, and it would seem that out the door then goes innovation. Yes, um, and there it, there were a couple of bullies within the top leadership that he was not dealing with, and those bullies kept people from bringing up new ideas. Um, they squelched um, just wow. the interaction, and so it was it it was really a problem that he was being so passive. 